Hello and welcome to this short introduction to IRIS. The IRIS interaction framework is all about different ways of viewing and interacting with your data. Today I'd like to share my thoughts on those different views with you. Let's start with information services. Information services, also called data services, are a very simple and uncontrolled way of viewing data. These tend to be the most commonly available services today and they allow a user agent to fill a screen with data from a particular source and then take a predetermined action. Unfortunately, they often provide limited or restricted user experience because the user is locked into the way the user agent design has been coded. This interaction pattern has been given a name, the View, Inspect, Act pattern. Moving on to reporting services. In terms of interaction, I include reporting services and alerting services under the same category. These services provide the user with enough information to determine an action. The user might read a report, churn through the information in that report, and then log on to carry out their intended action. In this interaction pattern, the user knows what they want to do before they have even logged on. This interaction pattern is called the Alert, Analyze, Act pattern. Finally, we get to interaction services. When I'm using a system, I'm always happiest when using an interaction service. An interaction service puts me in control and either leads me to my desired outcome or lets me browse around until I find a desired outcome. The best interaction services hide all the complexity of the data and the systems behind the service, but put me and my user agent in full control of my interactions and hide any state or context management issues. This interaction pattern is called the Explore Act pattern. Thank you and happy interactions.